What's good everybody, SG Scouts back with another video. We're taking a look at Utah linebacker Devin Lloyd today. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about him in the comments. And let me know who you want to see in the next film session. And without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going to be looking at the two Utah games in this film session. And when I'm watching Devin Lloyd, obviously what jumps off the screen is the explosiveness. Twitched up guy. You know, they played him at pass rusher, off ball linebacker. He's great in coverage. But my biggest question is, I don't know which position he plays best at. I don't know if it's inside linebacker. I know that's where he's projected to go, or that's where he's projected to play. But I think that's a big question with him. Uh, on this play, Oregon's going to be running with the, uh, the quarterback up the middle. Lloyd's there in the center, strong side backer. And what I don't like about him in run support is he's just not physical enough. And that's a bad trait to have as a linebacker. For people to question your physicality, you'll see that he doesn't attack well with his hands. He loves to use athleticism to get through blockers. But in a play like this, he barely even, you know, did anything to that offensive lineman. Didn't create any penetration. Now we saw the negative side of his run support game. Now let's look at the positive side. He is so, so, so athletic. And he can just cross multiple gaps on one run play to make uh, the tackle. On this play, Oregon, gap blocking in the front, running back, going to be running down the middle. Lloyd's going to start off sort of in the A gap. He's going to work his way into the right B gap because he sees that's where the running back's going. And then he's just going to be so nimble on his feet, explosive ankle flexion for days. And you see he's going to fight all the way back to the other side of the B gap. Look at the ankle flexion, gets there, makes the tackle, just really impressive stuff. But now the best selling point for Lloyd is him in coverage. This is what's going to make teams fall in love with him. Oregon running four verticals. Lloyd matched up in man on the tight end. Really no chance for him as he's running the post down the middle of the field. Lloyd just too much of an athlete. And he's just so agile in coverage that, you know, that flip of the hips, super smooth. Doesn't lose any speed in his stride and just makes that coverage look as easy as it can be. Now for a middle linebacker in zone coverage, very important to have smooth hips and also have your eyes on a swivel understanding the routes that are coming in and out of your zone and Lloyd's going to do very well on this play. Oregon's testing him with a mesh coming underneath and then in route coming behind Lloyd and you'll see how smoothly he rotates his hips here attacking the mesh but he feels that uh, in route behind him and then comes back and makes that a very tight throw for the quarterback. Just great mental processing and again the athleticism. Again, though, I would like to see more nastiness from him, more toughness for a guy who's, you know, going to be an NFL linebacker. That's something I think he needs to have. So on this play, when he comes in on a green dog blitz, I'd like to see more urgency from him there. With the speed we've seen from him, that should have been a sack probably. Now, you might be asking if he's not going to play middle linebacker, what position would he play? He might be good enough to play the edge. He's got some serious pass rushing skills. His finesse moves really impressive. He's going to put a nasty spin move on the tackle here. As you see, he's going to dip his head to the outside. And then just quick spin inside. Gets the quarterback out of the pocket. That's some serious stuff right there. Very Brian Burns-esque. Impressive. And we'll see some more uh, impressive pass rushing snaps coming up. He definitely shows some promise with his hand fighting as a pass rusher as well. As you'll see here, he's going to slap away the offensive tackles. Left elbow. And then... He can work on the finish there, but you'll see that athleticism, just natural dip that he has around the edge in general with that ankle flexion. We've talked about that. It gives him, you know, definitely some promising traits as a pass rusher. He's got some pretty impressive range. He can play sideline to sideline for sure. Oregon, quick screen play here. Lloyd, you'll see he's going to get sucked in trying to attack the quarterback. But the speed and range he has to make this tackle really impressive. I think he's going to Put up some high tackle numbers in the NFL. Now to give my final thoughts on Devin Lloyd and summarize what we learned in the video today. I think he's a very intriguing prospect just based off his physical and athletic profile. He's so good in coverage. I think he can blank guys in man and he's also very smart in zone. You see how he passes off routes and takes routes very efficiently and I think that'll translate well into the NFL. But the question is which position does he play best at? He's just not very physical doesn't create penetration as a middle linebacker. I don't know if a defensive coordinator could teach him that or his position coach. 
seems going to be tough. Maybe the team that picks him will want him to beef up into that linebacker position. But maybe they'll want him to play as a pass rusher. I think that'll be interesting to see him get some more reps as an edge rusher. He definitely has some finesse moves that show a lot of promise. Um, but maybe he'll play outside linebacker. I don't know. He's definitely got speed. He's going to make a lot of tackles just off his speed and pursuit. And I think he could be a weapon for defense. But the question is, how do you maximize his talents? High ceiling. But, you know, how high is the floor? That's the question with Lloyd. And, yeah, guys, that's all from me. I think I would grade him as a second-round prospect, probably early second round. I think teams could definitely convince themselves to pick him late first. But that's where I see him. Let me know where you guys see him in the comments. And also let me know who you want to see in the next video. And, yeah, I'm out.